What's up, folks? It's me, Foe here, and Son of Beast here, ready for the next matchup of the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Now, we're ready for games three and four as the next matchup is on its way. The first night will be Miami Heat, and they are right now ready to bring things home to play against the Cleveland Cavaliers at Kaseya Center. The matchup is where it turns to be a little bit challenging right in the two. But this can be a little bit of a harsh one, but no one wants it all. But as you may already notice, that Cleveland Cavaliers have already tied this game up. This time, it is a 1-1 game between the two of Cleveland and Miami. This is kind of a hard one to take, but we're happy enough that this is the close matchup as they're going for. Well, here they are now. Let's see who will have the leadoff for the game. Rogier is with Hero. Bennett's Jimmy Butler with Hayward Highsmith and Bam Adebayo in center. And the other side for Cavaliers to Darius Garland with Jonathan Mitchell. Max Struess with Evan Mobley and Sharon Allen in center. The next commentary I will have is OJ and he's also along with the other side with Boomer and the first commentary is all you call for ballpoint pen. And as right now as this will be in between David Aldridge and Riley LaForce, we'll see you all later for the post game show. Now it's game three. We're about to see the heat show its heat culture. How they done. Let's get going team. Enjoy the show, folks. Let's roll. Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA playoffs. It's the matchup between the Heat and the Cavs. Ready for the tip-off? Don't go anywhere. We're on our way next. What's going on, fellas? It's time for our NBA playoffs. I'm OJ, and I'm here with Boomer, and of course, we have his ballpoint pen. Out of the forces here on the sideline are David Aldridge. In between the neighbor and the two, it's the time to do it. And we're ready to show its geek culture in game three, as we've seen in between the better of the matchup as we have to see what goes in. Right in the two. It's bigger, it's fancy, it's everything that we are going for. Who way you see how this one goes? They're red. It's gonna be a hard way to take, but let's go that this might be taking in another dish over lead or bring it back. We're starting to pop and bam on the bio with the win. All field and let's get going. Hey, what I spent now finding over it again to Tyler Hero. He will start it over, now find the pass to Bogier. We'll have it swing it over, now find over. The pass is broken up by Mobley. And it's stolen! Here's Butler for a chance for three. Misses the target as Bam on the bio with the rebound back to Butler. Looks it over, now find it over again. Here's Highsmith. The pass back to Aero for three. This is for the target outside. Now that's no way you have to defend it yourself. You don't have any much room. You don't have any uh, patience to go with you. You don't want that one to be leaving alone if you have it. Donovan Mitchell sliding a step in. Looks for a cut. The drive puts it in for Donovan Mitchell. Now when Donovan Mitchell has that one in there on the road, he was trying to find it in his way to get it through into the lineup. But that one doesn't really take all of it. The biting the pressure does it. He has to do some a little bit of a, a scoring drop to try to step it in. It doesn't happen to most of them. They gotta make sure they have it in there settled in. Here's Butler trying to cut it inbound. He now finds to get a Rogier. A hero trying to step up for three. Twisters from the outside. Start things off with Miami. Up in the lane for two. Here's a chance for Donovan Mitchell. Over now to Darius Garland. Garland trying to step it in. The pass over to Mobley. Stop for the wood shot. No good for two. You know, imbombable on right now. They really are trying to pick it up. This is not how they really have to expect it now, but this is what they have to do. Keep it in here if you have a choice. Okay? Three. The foul's called on Max Struess. That will be his first foul and first team foul for Cleveland. 6 16 left to go is Jimmy Butler trying to make his way to his first free throw in game three. Now, I never know Jimmy Butler. He was really tricking all of that 
the emperor that's strong it is. Because, you know, that happens to be most of them, and they are really trying to let the map able to show it off. When Doom Mother was playing his professional games, he's trying to tell for everybody who has once won. They call him Butler? He is making it all of his appearances, and does all of it. Jimmy Buckets is his nickname. He hits the first free throw. Now, because of that map and with Jimmy Butler, he has played here from Tumbell, Texas at high school, and then he played with Tyler J.C. before moving his over to Marquette in Milwaukee. That's when his next part of the NBA gave officials that time. Made him a six-time All-Star in his NBA career, then he was definitely really well at it. He's trying to let that one go in by, but Jimmy Butler is learning like he wants buckets. That's his first free throw. Let's see if he goes more over the trip. A chance now for Shrews. Misses this time. And Butler with the rebound. He has his first rebound of the night as he has it over on Shrews. Now to pass over to Highsmith. Highsmith wanting to have a little quick solution now again to Butler. Butler for two. Takes it drop in. That one will be starting his third game. Jimmy Butler with his two points in the game. It's just really got to be in there. That's what you can't really tell about that one. Jerry Scarlett finishes the drive, and this one now back down by two. Cleveland drop by two, as this one now holds it over again to Tyler Hero. Hero now finds a switch over. Three for Butler. Oh, yes, he does. Butler's got his first three pointer. Has six points. I just really never seen him like that. And Jimmy Butler is making some buckets. He wants it all. I mean, how would you understand it if you play it in there? That's a lot of, like, ridiculous. Which you know, is nobody has the courage since it. The rebound puts in for Jimmy Butler and Jerry Rozier. With five minutes left to remain in the first quarter, he has it again to Bam Adebayo. Bam Adebayo trying to handle it in with a layup drive. Scripted up by Jared Allen. That would be his sports rebound. Donovan Mitchell back the other way. Who's it across? Now with the spin, tries to look it over, pass it again to Garland for three. And this one will be kicked up. And the jump ball is called in between Butler and Mobley. 4.37 left to go in the first, looking to see who has the possession. And Butler wins the tip off and he goes back to Highsmith, back the other way. Here's the chance now to Bam on the bio, he finds it again to Jimmy Butler. The screen puts in for Adebayo. Here's a stepper. The step in's good. Jimmy Butler's got eight points in this game. And you know, everybody's really loving him. Jimmy Butler has been not really daring to get up how that happened. But that wasn't really what they were expecting him to do. Because you know what happens then? They don't just really are catching them up. Using your break in between, it doesn't really matter how that happened to them. That's because of Jimmy Butler. He's really into it. He's a professional. Here's Hero. Hero with the layup drive. Oh, unbelievable take. Hero's got his second bucket. He has five. Now that's what because it's all a hero. He was really keeping it in there. That started over. Great chance. First time out call by Cleveland with 3.48 to go. And we have bad news to tell you now. Jamie Vickerstep, he's out of here. And he is now able to have that one with his ending coaching of the year. But this moment, He's now bringing in new candidates, James Burgo, Jenny Atkinson. They're both are the early front runners for the job. They're trying to find the one for the Cleveland Cavaliers as he was dismissed on Thursday. Now because of what happened here on his embark on a coaching search, and because of what happened here on his one reason, we don't know when their roster will look like for next season. But it all the reports happened because the optimistic about re-signing Donovan Mitchell, he was uncertainly surrounding his status making it as far away from Cleveland Cavs to find the ideal candidate. Now, I was not really expecting J.B. Pickersack was really ending his day. Nobody has that one potential. Because in between James Burrigo and Kenny Atkinson, they're trying to find the running spots in. I'm hoping that Jake Burrigo might be the early front runners of the job. Because of this moment, He's really happy in that, this one here. Stinking up with a head coach here on the chair of points. He's preventing getting it for meekly contending. A team says to the upper four expectations. Hopefully this might help happen. And the other side for Atkinson, the Brooklyn Nets, he's trying to rebuild his career. He's just getting a goal.
Golden States, States, they need to make sure they have it in there. Hopefully they can find a room that they want to find. The Passover now finds a Coral. As he's on the court, right now on the other side of it, as for Jamie Hopkins Jr., he's with Dominic Duncan Robinson. Slide back to Jared Allen. It's stolen by Ben Alabayo. And Hawkins Jr. will now have it again to Duncan Robertson. What a touchdown! Great play in between Hawkins Jr. with the assists. Now they were expecting Jamie Hawkins Jr., the ultimate player of the game, for his rookie of the moment, playing here from UCLA. He's really happening right now because of one delay, that was one game. It happened what they were about to go for. And they can't really get this one cool. unbelievable plays because it happened in the regular season. He was really hurt. That one was really going to be a pain for the Marquis yesterday. Rogier the third now finds Butler. He has it over now to Duncan Robinson. Robinson now has it over. Hawk is shooting for three. He starts things up. In game three, and Jimmy Butler with the assist. Oh, Jimmy, how could that happen with that? Because Jimmy Butler is really keeping it over. And that one passes off. Jamie Hawkins Jr. got it started. Duncan Robinson with his first Brooksville foul, and their first team foul called on Miami. Donovan Mitchell at the free throw line, shooting two. Now, that's mm -hmm. like, don't really play for a bad Duncan Robinson trying to smack the ball out of there. That one got too loose. No one is really pressuring on for a bit. The challenge is, nobody gets this thing in a way. They've got to have to have some a little bit more timing. Take break. Take Don't break. take too much, or else you're going to have a little bit of a tough uh, on the pro prosecution for Miami Heat. Let's keep it up. Mitchell picks the first free throw. And some a little bit of the same with DM. He has that one all of them. He's he likes to be pronounced. DM rumble down. Gotta take it all. What we checked out is Devin Wade and George GA are checked in with Carol Silver. He hits the second free throw. Jimmy Hawkins Jr. trying to look for his better rookie of the year, but it seemed like that Victor Wembayama had that one coming in. We're looking at the top three playing around as Jimmy Hawkins Jr. with Victor Wembayama didn't really have to care for that. I know, I, I just really have to say that, that Jimmy Hawkins Jr., he must have had that one coming in, but that wasn't really what they all expect. They have to make sure that they, everything is okay, so hopefully this will help. As Mitchell, Mitchell is checked out, Sam Morrell is checked in for the Cavaliers. Let's say this, Sam Morrell has been really trying to let that in there. All better plays than sorry than that, but they don't have anybody to have it covered in. We shoot a third on the outside, trying to handle it his way in. The bounce pass is again to Robinson. Trying to reset it again to Rogier. We're nearing the two minute mark, as right now he guesses again to Rachel Robinson. Over to Hawkins. Here's the pass on a shot for the two. And this one misses off the target. Rebound it, and he went out of bounds. It turns over to Cleveland ball with under two minutes. What's that what you get? If that one happens to be what they bam on a bio is trying to burn for, he is trying to take the ball out of here. But he stepped out of the line, that's not gonna happen. He really need to have another chance in here to get that one out. Burrell, screen on George Niang. The pass to Niang for three. Misses from the outside. Hawkins Jr. with the rebound. Now finds again to Jimmy Baller. Baller trying to race it over to get a Robertson. Robertson to Hawkins. On number three. Two for two. On number three for Miami Heat. That's Hawkins Jr. with another two. But they are expecting it. How could this happen? Do you get Hawkins Jr. with two three pointers? I mean, there's no way we can't let that happen already. There's no else to try to stop him down. Hawkins Jr. right toward him to wing. Looks again to Rozier, finds Butler. Butler with the screen. Step back, back to Rozier. Six on a shot clock. And on a buyer over George D.A. And he takes it in. On a buyer with his first bucket. We're under a minute left. 23 12 to score. Now, Karis LeBert, 
trying to cut his way in, a pass over to D.A. And that was Mr. Gay, George D.A. Couldn't get his first bucket in. Hawkins Jr. up, and he makes a drive. He has eight points in the game. Over now to Levert, again to Wade. Wade passes to Levert. Levert trying to answer it in. The pushover around to Mitchell, and this was rejected off by Bam on a bottom. Bam got that out of here. They were expecting that Bam has been left there to get into it. Not a new changeup coming in for the Cavaliers is now George D.A. checked out as more seniors checked in. The Geen are also making new changes here. The steal on right checked in with Kelly Barton and Jovic. Or to shoot. Burrell up. He had a chance for the two. And Jovic denies the shot. Now it's a shot clock violation. Turns it over to Miami Ball. Great effort to take over. I know that Jovic was picking in there, but great speed is. Everyone's taking it over at the same time. Josh Richardson checked in for a bit to do for Duncan Robinson. Let the pressure come down to eight seconds. The pass over now finds Richardson. Here's a shot, a back step, and he makes it in. Just the time went down, and that will end the first period quarter here. 27 to 12 is the score. Miami on a heat culture for the start. Three. And we'll be back with the second quarter. Oh, what takes it in there? Bam on a bio. We check the shot. Well, they're hopefully you're gonna have to keep on going. Culture and the land in together. And we're ready for the second period. We are ready to have the second quarter. We're back at Casino Center. Ready for the next match. On a stay it happened right now with the Cavaliers and the Heat. They've been playing it for all of the day long. Now, I was really hoping that there was great chances, opportunity of this one, but I have no other uh, confidence in how that happens because they were really are expecting it. Playing it for a real team, it just doesn't matter what anybody goes for. Well, you can definitely count that, but that needs to be another good curricular motion. Get the drive in. On the next group beer, Jerry Scarlett with Donovan Mitchell, Matt Schutz with Moore Sr., and Jared Allen in center. Now that he will have the pressure in, he now finds the ice pit. Looks it over, now finding it again to Wright. Wright trying to have it back over and on the other side. Here's Josh Richardson. Takes it over. Here's a swing off. Three for ice pit. And goes in. Number three pointer makes it in. 30 to 15 is the game. That has to be the right way for Heisman to have that. All four response got to have it. Ward Sr. with his own. This one takes a quick pass. And it's Darius Scarlett with the assist. Hey, can't let this happen now because if you're playing it for Darius Scarlett, you know you got to play it for real. Here's Morgan. Finds it over again to Josh Richardson for three. In the corner, no good. Jared Allen with the rebound now finding it again to Darius Scarlett. On a full breakup chain with the one hand dunk down. 30 to 19 to score here, back down by 11. Trying to look for an answer here with 6.45 to go. Now the pass over to get to Richardson. Richardson gives it off to Heisman. The pass over again to Richardson. Kelly Martin right on the outside. Trying to handle it in. The bounce pass to the right. This is her target. And it's rebound by Donovan Mitchell. The takeover now by Darius Scarland with the shot and it's good. Over the long right as an air bucket down. Donovan Mitchell with the assist trying to let an answer back. The pass over now finds Morgan. Morgan rolling over now to High Smith. He goes straight back again to Morgan. Morgan taking a swing over now finding right. Right with a step back to and goes in. Number two pointer. Makes it in for the heat. They're expecting that. How can this happen happen for Dillon Wright? They need to have that one playing in for the better impact. Here's a take. Jerry Scarlett up. Oh, what a cut and dry. He is trying to have an answer back already. Eight points in the game on the street. Well, that's because you know Jerry Scarlett had that one coming in. But that full pressure doesn't really take all that cover down because he has that. A lot of great chances in there. And his EBB is really can't be taken over for step-by-step motions. He's got to make sure he has that one in there. A great look. 
Ty Smith. The pass over now by Kelly Barton. Here's another take. And he takes a three. What a nice take for the Heat. They are back up 35-23. Now the pass over. Reporter for Valley of Force. They will talk one of the Jimmy Butlers is on his way. And he has a lot of quote to say. It's what they all expected now. But playing in between, they are going on crazy night. When I think about playing this, it doesn't mean that I have not responded. That's what the life quote is. If he asks more, to get a job done. Yeah, you, know, you can expect it now because of uh, Jimmy Butler. He's really taking all that pressure in. And he's trying to have all of that pressure in. He needs to get all the work from the team. And it's probably what they all need to go for. But that wasn't the only pace they have to do. Okay, here's Struis, not quite up again. Allen and Allen who's successful makes the attempt. Quarterback Struis and the Cleveland Cavaliers with 37-25. They now expect it now because that one keeps it in there. It's great now because that really takes it in. Miami Heat calling timeout with 419 to go. And they're still trying to find that answer back in. If you're looking for your new tickets here as we are ready to put things up for the NHL draft, that's happening here for the Spear. And the other side of it is right now for the NBA draft. And this one will be the next new tickets to have that manage things up. And this will be another new go to your location here. And this one will be the next one putting up here for 2024. As this one will be the, the one to take all that addition that are happening on June 26th and June 27th in the first and second round back at Fort Place Center. It's the part of it that goes, but that one will be the next place to get right into the 78th edition of the National Basketball Association. That will be two nights of it because of that moment. We'll be what the results are, and probably you'll find out what goes in, what's the players inbound, to get ready for the next level. And this is what they all need to go for. The starring of the groups, the might be from college, the way you drop it in, but that might be what they're calling for after the drop, drop lottery. Because that might be when the conference goes in, and hopefully this might be a one take at all the box. Every moment we check back on the court, Jimmy Butler is also on the court here too. High Smith still on the court right now. He's with Robinson, Rogier, and Adebayo. The pass over, Rozier for three. And the number one picks it in. It is Rozier, 40 to 25. Here he is, Sterling with the ball. Covered on Jerry Rozier, passes again to Allen. The pass down to Mitchell. Mitchell, try to have an answer over to Allen for three. And he has that training in for the triple range on the outside. 40 to 28 to score. Rozier trying to place it back. Now he makes a pass over to Highsmith. Looks it over. Now backing Rozier. Rozier now trying to have an answer in. Gives now to Butler. Butler. Here's the cut with two. And it one rolls in out. On the way now playing again to Robinson. Robinson almost lost the ball. Deep for three. Hit the rim. Did it at that time, and this one is out of here. Well, you're never going to make a deep three of his own. That's going to be way harder than you have to go with. And Butler attacking his own inside. He makes another two pointer. That's Jimmy Butler with another two pointer. He has 10. Good stretch. Good ones to take here for Jimmy Butler, but they got to get through and get moving. Got to keep on rolling it and then try to answer it back. And here's Garland on the attacker on a one hand dunk down. He is 42-30 to go as for the game as he has 10. Well, expect for now for Darius Garland. He must have got that one all that pickoff play. Might need to do some a little bit of the changes. You need to make sure that when this comes in there. And if you don't have it right, don't lose it. The effort is never going to take all with the working product. Nice bit. Back step for two. That misses again. And the rebound puts in by Allen. Here's Terry Scarlett. Trying to make his way across the Mobley back to Mitchell. Here's another take for Allen. We're at two minutes to go. Misses the shot. And back to Butler again. That will be Bam on the bio. And it's 
So another rebound puts it. Ogier now finds Butler. Here's the Butler on a drive. And this one misses again. Trying to go for 12 points, but he misses off too many times. Now here's the take from Max Cruz. So drive and he's fouled. That will be another foul for Miami. A minute and 36 to go. Oh boy. That would be a white screen game has to do. Don't take the lot of stress ever. If you don't do it really right, if you don't do it right, you should not try to do it again. Don't take the effort out of them if you get it through. The next free throw is coming up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. This will be the next one here before the halftime show comes on. Two shots. The win puts it, and this one will be picking the bucket in. As right now, this will be an new replacement for the Cavs and the Heat. Barland's checked out as Mitchell as well moves over as LeVert checks in. The Heat are making the changes. All three players checked out, all three players checked in. As Butler moves over after Tyler here with the, with the substitution, we're back on the court. Coming up later will be the halftime show as we will have that one on the cover on the other side as we have Ernie Johnson, Kennedy Jet Smith, and Steph O'Neill getting ready for the first half of the review to find out what goes in. That will be all the games here coming up after the first half. Here's Butler now finding it again over to Rozier. Rozier gives it again back to Butler. The three for Robinson. Switch from outside. Picks that of another two. As this will be four points. That's Jimmy Butler's great assist on the front end, and that's what he all has to do it for. But when you play it for a real part of his lifetime, you've got to have that moment to remember. It's easier way to just lay down for the Here's Butler now finding it again over to Rozier. And miss again and then for Philly with Cavaliers with over 50 seconds to go. Hero trying to cut it in. Losing the wall up for it. The three for Robinson. And this one misses. Levert trying to go back the other way. Levert passes again to Struz. The screen puts up by Allen. Trying to fade a set over to Allen. Allen on on a bio. For the move around shot. This one misses. And the shot goes in again for Evan Mobley. Now a 44-34 game. Well, people start stabbing because Evan Mobley is really keeping it in here. He's keeping it up with the Ducks. Not going to happen in the most of them if they get it. The pass over to Hero. No idea, but go for three. And he misses the target. That ends the first half. 44 34 is the score. Now, time for half time. Be back right after this. Third quarter is coming up after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Bernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the champ, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. What a start for Jimmy Butler. He had 10 points, 2 rebounds, and 1 steal. Shaq, your thoughts on the Heat? They wouldn't be ahead without the numbers they've gotten from the bench. Providing major contributions, especially the offensive. It's taken a lot of pressure off the start. What a luxury to have a second unit to introduce. And uh, Kenny, what you see completely? Well, it's not easy. You plan to get some people that on fire. This team was on fire. They showed effort on defense. It was a big match. They couldn't get the stop. I don't think the opponent can sustain this kind of shit. And that's a wrap for our halftime show, the third quarter. Just about to get started. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. We welcome you back at the Casino Center, ready to start the third quarter. All for Jimmy Butler, he has been really been pushing himself. Pressure is, it takes him all what he has done to earn his accomplishment. He had 10 points. I mean, you always expect it for Jimmy Butler. He was really like all in just going to go. Better effort now to be legend. Well, he has to be. He's got to make sure he has that one in there and all that is trying to do so. You're destroying the group here is Rashid Madeira. And by the bottom of the center and it's Robinson. And finally it's Butler. On a brilliant back by Jalen Allen. 
as he puts an arm assist here for Darius Strongland. It's not that it just happens now, but Darius Strongland is really keeping that pass over. Every lane is just not turning who you always expect it to be. Here's the pass again to Adebayo, but two! This one dropped it in! Never a few drop floating in, as he has four points in this game. Really what you can expect from Bam Adebayo. He had that one with this great tripping, dropping down with a teardrop though. Makes his way across. The pass back. Step back. Here's the three for Struz. And it misses. The rebound for Ali. And missed the guy. Bam Adebayo with a six rebound of the day. Pass now over again to Bouchier through. Looks it over now to Robinson. Robinson trying to give a pass over now to Euro. And offensive fouls called on Tyler Euro. That'll be his first foul. And now a turnover for today for Miami. Robinson's checked out. It's now backing in is Hayward Highsmith with under seven minutes to go. That's when you don't play here. You don't play so offensive on the brutal on the playing impact. But this is not happening. You don't play really well often. You don't do well in a good job. That's what happens to somebody likes that call. They are really expecting that. They're just changing it over. They can't let that one be mixed up. You know what I mean? It's, it's not really what they are calling that. I was really, really upset about this when I was played in, but they did not let the call. They can't let that happen. Highsmith now finds Butler. Six to shoot. The three for Highsmith. Man, the swishy doesn't hit it off. Mitchell finds Mobley with the shot and a great drive there in, assisted by Donovan Mitchell. They are down by six. Six twelve to go in the third quarter. Rozier now finds a pass over to Big Jimmy Butler. Bounce pass again to Rozier third. Picks it over to get a hero. The sliding down for two. And it misses again. Donovan Mitchell at the air right now finding Garland. Here comes Garland. Pass to Mitchell for the two. Three pointer makes it in. Cavaliers straight and down by three. Timeout called by the Heat with 539 to remain. Oh boy, they are really not picking up the calls up there. They are expecting now they have a close game to take, but they gotta watch out for. They don't want anybody to get thrown out of here. Not even, not even anybody. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports for the second round is brought to you by. Sour Patch Kids. Sour, sweet, dog. Story Lines. And by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Some new changes here for the Miami Heat and for the Cavaliers. As a couple of players are checked out, Shoes and Allen are checked out. Is now checking back in. Will be Nia Inacoro. Here's the pass to get a Hawkins Jr. Now finding to get a Rozier as he's checked in for Highsmith. Passes to Rozier for a step up two. That one good closer to win as he has another two pointer. A lot of great field goal range out there. Turn it like they do it. Yes, they always have to believe on that. The Cavaliers are making a little bit of a dip flows. Is that uh, he? They've got to see what they can do to get this one. Yeah, it's a three. This one goes right down back by two. As Mitchell now has it with the assist, Boucher's got it again. Mm, the easy can't just leave it flowing out there like that. Because of this, they're just making this one pay for it. Butler. Now he will have it over to Bam on the bio. Here's the three for Rozier. And he missed off the rim. And it goes back the airway to Niang. He's off to Okoro. And the attack is going to come loose. Here comes Butler. With a takeoff. And the layup makes it in. Butler's got 12 points. Under five minutes left to go in the third quarter. Mitchell trying to handle it over. On a fake shot, the two for Mobley, misses, and it's been taken over by, by Tyler Hero. Another miss by the Cavaliers with two rebounds for Hero, now has to take over to Hawkins Jr. Pass over now to Rozier, Rozier, cutting back, 
and makes a drop in. You got a two-pointer for Rogier. He has seven. They're just pushing the pace away. Why would they have to do that if they were now? And it's stolen by Butler. Here comes Hero with the finish. Oh, wow. Man, I have never seen it like that. Hero, how that down. That's crazy. No one has seen that one like it's coming in yet, but that is like all I have. I know. <laughs> this is what they would you can do in this uh, ever expect. The hero, hero cow, like it's a chow. You know what happens to be a comic book by the time they see it. Keep on that one. Fuller squeezes again, Hawkins Jr. As he picks up another two. And hits off the rim. And he goes right over again, back to Darius Garland. Here's another one for Garland. Floating in for the dribble drive for two. Misses again. Rebounded by Terry Rozier third. Now he finds it to Jimmy Butler. Looks over to Adebayo. In a range, here's the three for Butler. No problem here. That is a crazy three-pointer. 57 to 46 is the score. When they don't have to believe on, they gotta have it. That works quick. Fucking calls. And again, Cavaliers with another timeout with 306 to go. Jimmy Butler, after Hero, he has been playing redemption on the game. Well, it would have been happy to be what they all have to believe for. And you know how I expected? Anybody. And for Jimmy Butler as also. New groups of petitions there are on the court. As right now back on again is Devin Wade with Sam Morrell, and now over is Ivan Sides of the Coral. Morrell, he's on Jimmy Rogier, standing by his other little force. How to be able to talk with Darius Garland from a little bit of his range in. The better thing that happened with, he is trying to have that one with his concentration to get it back right into the game, but they didn't really appear that one at all. Well, this is what they really have to do to with Darius Garland. And the pressure is that all what they are expecting to. They have to make something up here, and they got to have another new location. It's because they don't really do well at all, but they have to play for a really well at the hard part. And again, he's got to play in, to play in, for another play in match. they got to have another one with a stop, and they have to do some a little bit of instructions for it. Very starting to pick it up. The screen, the walk into foul. And it's over to LeBert. Up it with the one hand dunk, and it's now back down by eight. Oh, that has to be a good defensive breakdown. Nobody wants to get this in here. Don't take any pressure if you have it at that time. Right, now points again to Hawkins Jr. The pass again to Wright. Now he looks it over again to Terry Rozier. The pass, right for three. Doesn't hit the kaboom that time. This is where has it again to Sam Morrell. On a pressure take with a shot and he's fouled. That goes to Dillon Wright with his first pistol. And an number team foul falls on Miami. Well, this is not going to be what their safe is. Don't take the pressure of it if you have that right time to go in. That one is picking up too many attempts here for Miami Heat to keep it up. He makes the first free throw. Now for some new substitution as more senior check that game. He will be replaced with George Nier. It's the second free throw. Now the chance for Terry Rocher to keep it alive. Passes over to Hawkins Jr. Rolls it again. Rocher on a full pressure take. And what a drive. Another one puts in the Rocher. He has nine points. That big and playable is just turning to be a killer. What they're expecting now, they got to be out there for some of the reasons of the games. Got to be in there. If they can't make it. 
The pass to Morrell for three, and it's good. Another two-pointer heads it off for the Cavaliers, 61-55. One minute to go in the third. And he now has the pass over to Jovic. Jovic swings again to Butler. Butler gives it again to Rogier. The third, still spinning across. Back step. And a miss by Miami. They really have no idea what they're going to do. They try to have the two players in there, but there is no luck. They have no pressure in the culture in there. They have to try to find another way if they can get it through. Three quarter misses the target. 30 seconds left to remain in the third. Now this now it over. Now finds the Hawkins Jr. and that one passes again to Jovic. Cut it down. Ball snap and it's more senior with the ball steal. Here it comes Morrell. Morrell trying to get a pressure in. 10 seconds, three for LeBron. It's good! <laughs> this one goes back to 61-58 game. Rozier, need to have a baby to run that clock down. Here's Butler for the take. And he buried it! What a shot for Jimmy Butler to end the third quarter. Now that's what they don't believe on. How do you do this, Jimmy Butler? That's a crazy take. Well, you never just have to believe on that. You gotta play it for real. And that ends the third quarter. 63 58 to score. Well, of course, next, after this, you're watching the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. And I'm on moment for a reveal of a State Farm assistant again. Well, you're gonna say now that it just needs to be a approval to go with all the effort. Thanks to Anabayo, he had that one passing to Jimmy Butler, and he's gotten pretty great techniques in it. A great drive in, not at all. Yeah, Bam Anabayo has been doing really well lately. Might be pressuring in. Not just anybody else who can take it. Four quarters underway. We hope that everybody's enjoying it so far. I just want to go be the last one to take. Here's Hero, now finds again to Robinson. Robinson, trying to give it over again to Hero. Hero, with a fade off shot, and he takes it in. Hero's got nine points in the game. A lot of field goal percentage are playing in the upper. Well, they have never seen it like anyone else like Tyler Hero was playing in. All that pressure makes sense, but it doesn't mean to anybody who has it. Oh, what an excellent three-pointer for Donovan Mitchell. They're pulling it back down by four. They're getting a quicker start. Now the pass over to Adebayo. Here comes the drive, and he's fouled by Jernal. That will be an urgency foul for Cleveland Cavaliers. 7.22 to go into the fourth. Now even you say Dick Steckin because that man on the bio gave us a way to try to keep that one pressure in the end of zone. That one needs to be clear. That didn't really change anything. On the bio at the free throw line, shooting two. 7.22 left to go in the fourth quarter. Looked like they wanted to pressure it up to get back up by seven. Take break, take break. Up by six, excuse me. First free throw. Well, they like to know for Bam, for instance, you can probably just have that one in there. A curricular goal is just not always when you start off. At that point, it's just not really what you have to go with. It's another takeover is just in between. You gotta have a better uh, strong communication in there. For Bam on the bio, best center in the guard position. And he hits the second free throw. Both plays out there, now they're grabbed by six. I still think they can stop that more runs in between. Very strong and up by Mitchell. Now you up and took it in. Nice takeover for Donovan Mitchell as they now back down by four. Well, easy enough to say now because uh, Donovan Mitchell, he was really trying to keep that momentum, but that was not the case that they were expecting to play at all. Got to have that momentum at the right time. Pass now, finding out to Duncan Robinson. Just let it drive, and he's fouled. Another one falls on Jared Highland. That's a second virtual foul. So oh boy, there's going to be a lot of contact calls for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Duncan Robinson.
He makes the first free throw. Duncan Robinson really is like a, he's a great player in his chance. I mean, he's really doing well. But now that time, it can be a little bit of a difficult thing for Duncan Robinson. You might have another chance of it if he does score. Well, I can definitely expect it for now. I mean, he has to be letting it up for anybody who can play for that game. But gotta have that one a comfortable away that we have a Robinson to play for. A better chance. You know the better answer for ability? This will be for anybody. Garland. Three-pointer, no good. Adebayo's got a seven rebound, now has it over into Robinson. The pass over. Here's Adebayo. Layup in, and good. Nice save for Ben Adebayo, he has eight points. Trying to beat the comparison with Jared Allen. Mitchell. And a three for Garland. Misses again. Martin trying to have it over now again to Heisman. Fans going for Let's Go Key. Give it back again to Heisman. Crowd going wild at Casillas Center and now finds out a bio. Tries to have it over. The three for Heisman. Pembu makes it in. It's a 74 63 day. They really are crushing. I can't say now that is really what they can expect. Play for a never take. Timeout call by Cleveland Cavaliers with 5.55 left to go in the fourth of the regulation. Let's hope they say they are just playing it for a real on the high inbound that has done the best. So far so good right now. As right at the moment, we are just nearing down the end of the mark. We'll get you a couple seconds to get some spare time and get back into action. New change up here as right now Struz is trying to answer the back. The quarter out of the force. This happened with one of the occasions that Donovan Mitchell has been able to talk for the game. You never expected that have to happen, but that wasn't really the change of chances that he's trying to have a little bit of trade up with the Michael Jordan jersey. He wasn't able to try to find that one in there. Until then, he wants to have a little trade up, give it away. Well, that you really know is expected because this is really like taking all that time and effort. And nothing makes it really happen, but they are really are keeping that person alive, doing it again and again. And here's a take now to, to Mark again. Well, an amazing try. Thanks for the for two, he has seven points. Donovan Mitchell finds a pass to Berlin. The pass over Ruben. What a nice take here for Garland and Allen with another jam down. He has 13. I don't even expect out of this happen. But that is not really what they are doing is this, this is not working really well. You can't even expect for this, but you don't want that to be messed up. On. Here's a take to Heisman. And pass to Giro with 445 to go. The driving down. This is dead. Now Garland now picks it up over again. Demax Struis, three for Garland. Good, great jump side, picks it up in. Now back to a six point game. Zero back the other way. Roll in and try to answer it in with a drive in bound. And he takes another two. Tyler Hero with a moment. Cleveland trail by eight. The spin off. Jared Allen for Mitchell for three. Another three pointer misses, and a rebound will pick it up. And it's probably with the same game with the layup drive, down with four minutes. Here's Hero, not playing again to Duncan Robinson. Pass again to Kelly Martin. Looks to Hayward Iceman. The pass bounced over again to Hero. Hero has to slide his way out. Robinson. Robinson dish off to Ben Adebayo for two. Solid defensive effort for Jared Allen. They don't need to impress on anybody. They really have to believe on that. They got to play it like they did. Nervous for Cleveland Cavaliers at 3.30 to go. Now here's an air take for Edward Ice. Ben Adebayo, not playing Hero. Hero pass again to Ice Smith and now finds it over again to Duncan Robinson. Robinson gives again to Edward Ice Smith. For the quarter of this line again. He has eight points. They're back up by eight. They're anywhere. 
Rockets can't be where they are expecting what they are doing now and don't have a chance to do it later. Finds Island. No protection here for Jared Island. Another timeout call by Miami Heat. We are under three minutes to go to the spare in the regulation period of the quarter. Trying to find its way, there's no choice. Let's hope it is. We've got to make sure they have it in there. They have a right one counter in to attack it and get it done. Hopefully, it won't be. All right, here's your chance now for a new rounds player of the game. So all for the game three goes to Jimmy Butler. He has been excellent now. And I always really say that Jimmy Butler has been excellent and he's knocking things down. But just the board office is the not really thing, but you can definitely play for it, like every game. Better corners than ever, but that's what you always need to know, Jimmy Butler, on the hot street. Out there a new group now. Here's the take over to Giro. Passes to Boshier. Baller right toward the wing. The baseline up, the shot, and he's fouled. This will be his second trip to the free throw line for Jimmy Butler. 103 minutes to go. Well, you don't have to play it for like that. And that's where Jimmy Butler has been like trying to cut in and get that layup in. Doesn't really help. Doesn't really take it matters. But it just happens to be he's got to take this line up and have it straight away. Number free throw coming up for the Miami Heat. I see we'll have another chance here. Only one timeout left to remain. But this one will be the only one left for Cleveland Cavaliers to take or not. He makes the first free throw. Mr. Sippet. That's right at the moment. He will now try to find another way to get over this as Garland will now have the puck. And a reach foul call there on Henry Bougier. 2.43 to go in this fourth quarter. They're trying to have an answer in there and get a close game in range. Three for Mitchell. And good. They are out of your back. 81 to 77 to score. Bougier now finds it over to get to Highsmith. He passes down to Adebayo. Just 2 3 to go in the fourth quarter regulation. Tries to pull it back, back to Jimmy Butler. Rolls down to Adebayo. Adebayo moves it in, and another one puts it in. That's an offensive foul looked up on the Miami Heat. That turns it over to Cleveland Cavs ball. Oh no, this is not turning great at all. They really are a dominant and they're just trying to push it in there. And now there's a bad chase. There's a bad take. There's something that somebody else is going to take it. After a pass broken up with Jimmy Butler, here's Hero. Here's the Butler for a number 10. Kaboom! What an excellent range for Jimmy Butler. 21 points in a game. Shoots for three. And it's good. Back the other way. Goes down by four. And Butler will now try to get it over again. And here's a Tomas. Here we up. And score. Kiro's got 13 points in the game. Shrink the air. Back up by six. Mitchell. For the outside zone. Pass to Alex. Up again. Oh, no. Bayo. Give me that ball. That is what they all think. Take me. You just cannot stop. The center guard, take it in. Rolls it back, finding out of bio. Here's the take for two. And it misses again. Try to roll it in there. Still a lot of time left. It's up. Play up, no good. And out of bio, try to roll it into Rogier. A minute left to go in the fourth quarter. Fans are still making their flying on their feet. Ty Smith now finds it over to Hero. Hero shoots. It's off the rim. Donovan Mitchell now trying to prepare for it. Another attacking comes in. Garland's the time. Make it up. It's good. 
Here's Stu coming in now, down by three. Oh boy, if they make the three points, then we are they're definitely even out. Rozier, we're going to take it, score! Rozier, Rosalind, time out call by Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, when you don't get the number four, you don't expect it. When you play for it, you've got to have it all. Pressure in, you make the max. Don't forget, the next game that's going to be happening here will be the Thunders, and they're playing against the Timberwolves at Paycom Center at OKC, Oklahoma. That will be the next part of the game as the Thunders are at home, where you take on against the other team of the Timberwolves. That's the next game on its way after this. The pass over to Mitchell. Misses again. Allen up. Two. Misses. Out of bounds with Wendy Butler. Allen is intentional foul. This will be third on Jared Allen. Miami will have to call their final timeout in regulation. The Cleveland Cavaliers only have one timeout left to remain in the fourth quarter. It still looks like they wanted to have a little bit of a discussion here, but they don't want to let that happen again. will have a chance. And Rozier has called the potential foul. That's on Darius Garland with his first post goal. Rozier's at the free throw line, shooting two. Makes the first free throw. When Donovan Mitchell just realized that after Terry Moshi was having a little bit of aggression here. Doesn't want to go for Hornets, but now a new contract? He's waiting in for a better team to play for. And he makes it second. Now the final timeout called by Cleveland Cavaliers with under 30 seconds. Don't forget, guys, we have the opening look here for the NBA and NHL for 2K25 and NHL25. That will be a new season for NHL of Season 4 and Season 9 of the NBA 2K Sports. That will be all the games here. Be sure to have that one down as this will be the opening votes to pick it in for on July 17 and the 18. That will be your pick as this will be another take in for yours. And you will find out which team you are going to find out if they're playing against each other. That will be all the teams. The previous one will not count, so that will only stick to just the teams for a newer one of the season. Let's make it fair and let's make it square. Enjoy the game, folks, and this will be open pretty soon. And WNBA will open on August with some new changes right now as they are adding a new level in the game. Hopefully this will be successful than the NBA. Both teams have no timeout left to remain here. It's now even more we will have it. And here's Stewart's for three. Answers in. But this one will be coming down to my four. As you now have another foul given. There is no of the second. Another foul shooting for Terry Rozier. He's back at the free throw line. Another trip for the Heat. He's got the first one in. And he drops the second. Fans are making this applause here at the Kaseya Center. 
Gary Scarlett rolls his in. Another take. Mobley passes to Struz for three. Oh, Butler! What a takeout and smack it. 10.8 seconds to go in regulation period. Now the ball rolls the other way. And they give it off to Butler. And now he's at the free throw line. This will be a first trip to the free throw. 8.2 seconds left. Now the line, Jimmy Butler. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. Butler hits the first free throw. Now it's a last group substitution here for the Cavs and the Heat. Three players check off the court. Way more senior and morale are checked in. And for the Heat, four players are checked out. Four players checked in. Martin Highsmith and Richardson are checked in. One free throw moves over to point four. And he makes the second free throw. Last take for the Cavs. Three for win. And that is it. Final score, 94 to 86 is the score. Now that's close in. It's now a 2-1 series in the Casey Center. 86. It's been a great game so far, and we really loved it. Now, it's always the end until game four. Now here's Allie, she's on court side. Bam, you saw the way Jimmy Butler affected the game in every facet. What does a performance like that say about his impact? I'm not sure what he's all about. He's all about winning, he's all about, you know what I'm saying, just, just going back to win, and, you know, he's a competitor, and that's what we love about him, that's what I need him to do. Thanks, Bam. All right, Alan, thank you so much. And that's going to wrap it up, folks, with me, Boomer, and Paul Coy Penn. This has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Thanks for joining us, and good night, folks. So long in Miami. Until then, bye-bye now. All right, guys, thank you so much. And this one has been an incredible game. Now this one is a 2-1 series Miami lead. As they're trying to answer this one back in for the next part of the game, as you'll be seeing this one coming back soon here for game four. Here's how to do with the total statistics 61 field goal percentage here for Miami Heat, 55 three pointers for Cleveland Cavaliers, 86 free throws for Miami, then it's 15, 42, and 4 for second chance points. They only had that one for Cleveland Cavaliers to take all of that pressure in. 27 for Miami Heat on the bench points. 32 for Miami. And it was 7 offensive rebounds that picks it up in. Only the Cavs have made that one in. 22, 6, 4, and 6 turnovers with 13 points off. Then it happened to be 14 fouls, particularly for Miami Heat. This one only happened with 8 dunks for Cleveland Cavaliers. 15 biggest lead for Miami Heat at 18.38 was their time possession for Miami Heat. Kicking it in right now, I mean, we're definitely happy enough to have it. Of course we do. Now it's time for you to your take. Son of Beast for three stars. All right, thank you so much. Three stars are on. The third star starts over. Bob and I will have that one pressure in there as I give it over to all that happened to Darius Garland with 16 points, seven assists, one rebound. 7 out of 13 field goals, 2 out of 5 three pointers, and 32 performance with only 2 dunks. Had that one great up coming in, but that just got it through. Now for the second star, as it goes around the other way, I have it over now, back again. Donovan Mitchell for DM. 17 points, 3 rebounds, 9 assists, 1 steal, 6 out of 12 field goals, 3 out of 6 three pointers, and it was 40 performance effort. He just had that one coming in, sneaking in, but that attacking just did not do what they all expected to. And your number one star, the New Balance player of the game, all goes to the one, and the legend that does it for all. It's Jimmy Butler, with 23 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists, 3 steals, 1 block, 8 out of 11 field goal range, 3 for out of 4 3-pointers, 
And then 34 performance effort, he just got crazy going in shots. Take that off. It's impressive. I just really like that Jimmy Butler's been playing it for so many reasons. Can we really like to take it out of here and you're all over the place. And that's going to turn things over here and wrap it up at Miami Vice of Florida. So I hope you enjoy this part of the game. If you were sticking around here for the next game, Thunders and the Timberwolves, that game is coming up next right after this. Don't go anywhere. If you were staying around or not, thanks for watching, and I hope I'll see you all again here for the other side of the game for the next spot. In the meantime, that's it for now. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA playoffs in 2K Sports style. This is me, Phone, and Son of Peace, thanking you for watching. Until next time, bye-bye. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.